My name is Alex with ATEC Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be talking about components. You've probably seen them in your Jira projects, and you're probably wondering, what are components for and how can I use them? Well, today I'm going to answer the first part of that question, which is, what's a component? We're going to take a look at some Atlassian documentation, and I'm going to show you a little bit in Jira. And then in a future video, I'm going to show you how to actually use them. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. It does tremendously help out the channel a lot. So if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Also, drop a like if you get value out of this video, as that also really does help out the channel a lot. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if you just want to say hello, if you just want to help with the channel, drop a comment below and let me know that you're watching the video, that you're enjoying it, that you're not enjoying it. Let's have a conversation down below. And finally, if you want to support the channel, I have a special announcement. I got merch now. So check out the description and the link below, and you'll be able to see some of the different designs that I have for Jira merch. Buy them and show them off around the office. Nerd out a little bit. You know you want to show off to your friends that you have the coolest Jira gear in town. These are one of a kind. You're not going to find these anywhere else. Anyways, let's jump into the video. We're just going to take a look at Atlassian's documentation here. We're looking at just what are components. Components are very interesting. It's a very interesting field. It's a field that I like a lot, and you actually don't have to use it the way it's described by Atlassian. Because in a nutshell, the power of a component is if you are a project level administrator, you want to have some power. You don't want to have all the power in Jira. You don't need to be a site admin. You don't need to be a Jira admin. You don't need to be an org admin. You just need to be a project admin, which means that you have the abilities to create releases, add components, and delete issues, typically, out of the box. Obviously, your administrator might change those. But assuming that you can and have the ability to create components, this is a very powerful field in Jira because sometimes you want to capture custom information. And yes, you can and have the ability to create custom fields, but guess what? That is deferred or only your Jira administrator can do those kind of things. And every time you want to add a new item to your components or to your custom field, you have to go to your Jira administrator to have them help you add a new value because only that can be done under the hood. However, components is a powerful field that you as a project admin, you can add and remove the values that show up in the dropdown just simply by being the project admin. So this is powerful because you don't have to use the component as a component as described here, which is a component is a subsection of a project. You don't have to follow those rules. You can just define whatever values you want. And now you have a field that is completely customizable by you and your team, and you can select whatever values you want. But if you're a software organization, if you're a software team doing components, you're probably going to want to actually use components for what they're intended for. So let's take a look. They're used to group issues within a project into smaller sets. For example, teams may use components to group issues that describe work in specific data objects, services, plugins, or APIs. In other words, think of your system of the whatever product or tool or project you're delivering as a giant system, which is composed of various subsystems. Imagine a car, if you will, right? Where you have the transmission, you have the engine, you have the wheels, you have the suspension, you have the cabin, you have the trunk, you have the hood, right? You have various aspects of an entire system. And so components are basically little pieces of that big giant overall system, which is very beneficial. So some of the cool things that you can do with this, as they say, is group or bucketize. I love the word bucketize, but you can group or bucketize your work because not all work is created equal. Not every user story should be treated the same. Sometimes your team might be trying to get or finish a specific set or subsystem complete before you move on to the next one. But how do you group all that work together? Well, enter the component. You can define your subsystems as components. And then in your Jira ticket, which again, we're going to cover in a future video, you can then associate that Jira ticket, your story, your bug, your epic, whatever you want back to that component. And then you can create metrics on these components and look them up. And then you can see basically who's responsible for what, where you have gaps in your process and your communication and your and just in the overall flow of the work. And now you can kind of start adding a little bit more color to your work. And hopefully as a scrum master or as a project manager, you can start managing your project deliverables a little bit better. Anyways, that's the component. Um, feel free to take a look. I'll drop a link to the article here 
in the description. I want you as the key takeaway is this is at last interpretation, but I'm telling you that you can use this field in various different ways and you can get a little creative. Unfortunately, you only have one of them, right? So you got to use it wisely because otherwise you will need to defer to custom fields to capture additional bucketizations or grouping of, of work. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like, make sure you're subscribed. If you're making it this far into the video and you're not subscribed, please make sure you're subscribed because it does help out the channel tremendously. Also, please make sure you share this video with your coworkers, with your friends, with your family, anybody who's interested in Jira. And finally, make sure you get your Jira merch. We have a couple of different designs in the description down below. Check them out, buy them, wear them with pride and show them off to your coworkers. I know that if I had a shirt like this when I was back in the office, I would have loved to have walked around with my, it's a bug, not a feature. And if you know, you know, because if you know, you know. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed the video. Come say hi, drop a like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.